Okay, to build an email campaign that turns a list of names into customers, we have two main goals for these emails. One is building relationship with the customer. That means you can't just repeatedly yell sales pitches. Second is identifying the qualified buyers, the ready buyers for your sales team to call on. That's why we use informative and educational content, stuff they'll find interesting and fun, things that they'll share with colleagues and remember. They'll look forward to the next one. So now you're saying, I don't have any content. I'm not a good writer. I don't have the budget or the time to produce this stuff. Don't worry. We figured out how to make this super easy. Step one. <laughs> Step one is to write down all the problems that you solve for your customers. We call this your customer's pain. What keeps them up at night that you can help with? If you sell mortgages, your customer's pain is the bad neighborhood you live in, the commute to work, or the baby on the way. If you're an accountant, your customer's pain is the hassle of tax time, the hassle of filing ta sales taxes, or the amount of taxes you're paying. Write them all down. The more personal and emotional, the better. Even for highly technical and business related products, people normally buy for emotional reasons. Write all of that stuff down. We usually use Sales Scripter to help with this. Check it out with the link on the screen. Now just search the web for those things and select content that's available in the public domain. Articles or industry trade sites, articles in the Wall Street Journal, videos on YouTube, podcasts. That's what you want. If you see something and you think, hey, my best customer would have loved to have known this, that's what you want to put in your email. Reminder, this is not a sales pitch. You'll be tempted to use things like testimonials from previous customers. That usually won't work. The email should not be about you. It should be about the customer's problems and what's going on in their world. Quick tip. Using videos gets a much higher response rate if you do it right. More on that in our writing the email video. Understand, you're not doing anything unethical here. You're not violating any copyrights or anything like that. Your emails are only going to talk about the articles and videos and refer the reader to them. So you're promoting the original producer's content. They love it. If you have great articles, reports, and videos on your website, then that's great. Use them. Obviously, sending readers to your website is good. However, the point here is just to give your audience a little gift to build trust. And the magic trick here is that you'll know exactly who clicked to read the article or watch the video. And that tells you they have a need you can address for them. That's a pre-qualified lead. Okay, write down the pains you can fix and start looking for content. Next, we'll show you how to write the email.